This episode of Soji Knows Best is brought to you by Full Sail University. Hey, what's up guys, Soji Knows Best here. This is going to be my review of the BlackBerry Z10. This is BlackBerry's attempt to get back into the game to try to take what has been taken from them from the likes of Android and iOS. And so for this review, I'm going to be taking a look at the design, the hardware, the camera, the software, and whether this phone is going to be a good fit for you. So let's going to start the review. I'm going to start off by taking a look at the design of this BlackBerry Z10. Now, I am liking what I'm seeing. It's not the best looking phone on the market, but I do like the overall look of it. And it's pretty lightweight, so when you are holding it, it only comes in at 4.78 ounces, and it's only 0.35 inches thick. And as far as the feel in your hand, it feels very nice because of the back. It has a nice rubber grip on it, so you're not going to be um, having this thing really slip out of your hands. So it's going to be very hard for that to happen. And now it's going to make our way around the device. On the left-hand side, you will find a micro USB and also a micro HDMI port, so you can connect thing up to an external monitor or a TV if you wanted to and then on the right hand side you'll find the volume controls and in between those volume controls you'll find a dedicated voice control button and I'll talk about that a little bit later in the software portion of this review at the top you'll find a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and also the power button and then at the bottom you'll find the speaker port which is also going to allow you to take off the back cover and then now you have access to the battery so if you want to carry an extra spare battery you can also you have access to the sim card slot and a micro SD card slot that will allow you to expand the internal storage up to an additional 32 gigabytes. Now the display on the Z10 is a 1280 by 768 resolution display that has 356 PPI, that stands for pixel per inch, and is 4.2 inches and has a 15 by 9 aspect ratio. So this display is nice. It's not as bright as something like the iPhone 5 or some other smartphones out there in the market. And plus it doesn't have the most PPI of some of the cell phones out right now. Uh, but it is an overall very nice display. Uh, the text were very rich and sharp on there. And um, you're looking at pictures or you're looking at video or playing an application, uh, the display is not going to let you down. Now taking a look at the internals of the Z10, you'll find a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor, two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal flash storage, and you also find Bluetooth 4.0, LTE capabilities, and also NFC. And now when I ran my benchmarking test using Geekbench 2, I found that the BlackBerry Z10 was right there on par with the iPhone 5. When you compare it with other quad-core devices out there like the Nexus 4, um, it does get beat out. So it's kind of in the middle of the pack as far as performance. And when it comes to battery life, it does have an 1800 milliamp battery inside of it. Again, it is removable. Um, but as far as just general uses, I didn't need to charge my BlackBerry Z10 until the end of the day of just normal usage. Now let's take a look at the cameras. Now the Z10 features an eight megapixel rear facing camera that's capable of recording 1080p HD video. And the front facing camera is a two megapixel shooter that can record 720p HD video. Now the Z10 was okay when it came to photography and video. Um, it wasn't able to beat out the iPhone 5 in some of my tests um, that I was doing. So for most of the time, the Z10 did okay with pictures. When you got in low light situations, the Z10 didn't outperform some of its competition. And when it comes to the video, I did a quick little comparison with the iPhone 5 as far as the video recording capabilities. The Z10 wasn't really able to keep up with the phone that came out months before. Now, one good thing about the camera, though, is the software that goes along with it. And within the software itself, it's pretty intuitive. You do have different options to change your different scenes with your pictures or your video. Um, but also does have a cool time shift mode, which is Z10 basically takes a short video clip. And then within that clip, it'll allow you to take a picture from that. But the cool thing is that each individual face is adjustable. So say somebody blinked, you can actually rewind or fast forward on their face to find when they didn't blink and combine that with the next face. And if you need to adjust that one, you can. But once you're done, you can set that picture um, in one single step state and have the best picture that you can get. Another good thing is the editing portion of this software, which is probably the best that comes pre-installed on a smartphone nowadays. Uh, now, you have different filters a la Instagram that you can add to your pictures if you wanted to. Also, you have, you have different styles that you can do as well. And adding all these different changes to your pictures are fast, easy, and simple. And once you're done, save it, boom, you're out the door. And now let's move on to the software, which is probably the most important thing with this new BlackBerry Z10 because it's one of the first devices to be running the new BlackBerry 10 software or the OS. Now, if your phone is in sleep mode, you can just simply slide up from the bottom to kind of unlock it and it'll take you to your home screen, which is a pretty nice feature. Or you can just hit the power button and do the same thing. And then you have this new BlackBerry Flow, which allows you to simply um, swipe up from the bottom to see your notifications on the left hand side. So I have my Twitter, my Facebook notification, missed calls, and things like that. And then if I swipe over to the right, it'll take to the BlackBerry Hub, which is going to show all of my different notifications. Now, one thing I don't like about the initial Hub experience is that um, a lot of the stuff looks the same unless you look over to the left-hand side and see the icons. It's a little bit kind of jumbled up there. I think it could did a better job on the presentation of this BlackBerry Hub, but, but it does get the job done. You'll see your BBMs over there. You'll see your text messages, your Facebook uh, notifications, and things like that. So there's one simple place for all of that. 
And if you need to get out of any application, just simply swipe up from the bottom. Now take it to a screen that will have all your recently opened up applications and you can simply close out an application from there if you wanted to. And then if you swipe over back to the left, you'll find that you'll get back to your, your home screen with all your different icons. Now if you slide down from the top of the display, you'll find toggles for your alarm, your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi notifications and rotation lock. Then you'll find a quick shortcut to get to your settings. As I mentioned before, it does have a dedicated voice control button, but this is definitely no Siri, and it doesn't claim to be a voice assistant, but uh, with this uh, voice control, you can basically send a text message or update your social network status like your Facebook and Twitter just using your voice or open up an application, but don't try to even look for any type of information like who was the 23rd president of the United States, something like that, because it will just basically go to the web and search for that, which it may be a little bit shorter than typing it in, of course, uh, but it's definitely no Siri. Now we talk about Blackberry, you also have to talk about BBM, which does have a couple features to it. It does now have BBM videos so you can use your front or rear face of camera in a video chat. It also does have screen sharing, so you can actually show the other person your kind of your desktop. Basically, you can show them your browser, your pictures, or documents and things like that. And this is gonna be great for businesses. And when it comes to third-party applications, the Z10 does have access to all the apps in the BlackBerry world, which definitely since the last time I've taken a look at a BlackBerry device has grown. It does have a lot more substantial applications inside of it, um, but it definitely doesn't have a lot of exclusive apps, really any exclusive apps to it that you may not find on another smartphone. So when it comes to apps, it definitely still is behind the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. As we know, BlackBerry devices also have great enterprise support, and the Z10 does continue that. But with this new BlackBerry 10 software, it does make it a lot easier to switch between personal and work things that you are doing on your phone, so you don't do anything that you're not supposed to be doing. Um, and so once you activate it, you can simply just slide down from the top and choose personal or work. And so this effectively can eliminate the need to carry around two devices when you go into work. I did say the best for last with this new software, and that is the keyboard. This keyboard is absolutely amazing, and it is the best virtual keyboard that I've used on a phone. Now, the, the, the predictive text with this keyboard actually learns where you do make mistakes or what you meant to do. And as you're typing, you'll see words actually hover over certain letters, and that's just it, it trying to predict what you're going to do. And if you do find that it does have the right word, you simply just swipe up from that letter and swipe up, and it'll go ahead and add that to whatever you're typing. Now, once you get used to this, you can really create messages at a very fast pace. And then also with the keyboard itself, if you hold down a space bar, it'll go ahead and hide the, the keyboard itself. And it also does have dictation as well, so you can use uh, the microphone to go ahead and say whatever you want to type. So as I step back and take a look at this BlackBerry 10 OS, I really see it as trying to catch up to the rest of the competition. And it does do a pretty good job at trying to accomplish that goal. Now, of course, Blackberries have been very famous for professionals out there or people who like to text a lot. And I think this phone does continue that tradition as well. But when I look at this phone as a whole, as I wrap up my review here, I see this phone is really, again, coming back to try to make a statement in the market. And it's really fighting for that number three spot, to be totally honest with you. And so there's a lot of things I really like about this phone when it comes to the software and the hardware. The cameras can definitely be improved and also the software did lag a little bit in certain cases and froze in certain times as well but for the most part this phone ran just fine and i think it's going to be a great phone for current blackberry users or if you were a really diehard blackberry owner in the past and you left them for android or ios and you're looking to come back i think this could be the phone for you to kind of come back and not feel too far behind the curve so anyway guys, this wraps up my review of the blackberry z10 before i do end this video that's going to take one to look at our sponsor now you probably can guess that the mobile app industry is definitely on fire right now. A lot of people are doing it and Full Sales University online mobile development bachelor's degree program can help you get a jump start on the competition and really take advantage of a lot of these emerging opportunities. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming and business sides of mobile development and you'll be given all the tools to be able to develop and market an application from start to finish. Also through Full Sales Launchbox program, you'll be given a fully loaded MacBook Pro with all the latest industry software, plus iOS and Android devices to help you with your development. Courses are delivered through Full Sales immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. So if you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu forward slash soldier to learn more about this online degree program. Again, that's fullsale.edu forward slash soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about this BlackBerry Z10, whether you're going to get it or not, or whether you're interested in it. And also, to all the links down to my social networks, my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are down below. And thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.